hawajui kweli hawajui kuwa Mungu alipatiana bure watu wamekuwa wakiuziwa mambo mengi sana ya kuokoka unaambua toa hizi pesa uweze kununua wokovu toa hizi pesa tukuombee haya yote ni mambo ya uongo Biblia inatuambia ulipatiwa bure pia wewe patiana bure Biblia inatuambia kuwa Yesu alipatiana maisha yake damu yake bure na wewe pia unafaa kupeana bure kwa sababu Yesu alitupenda, alipenda ulimwengu. Unajua watu wanasema, kwa nini huyu Yesu ndio watu wanataka kumuongelelea? Kwa nini watu waongelelei watu wengine? Huyu Yesu shida yake ni gani? Wengine walisema anapenda kujiingiza kwa mambo ya watu. Wacha nikwambie kitu. Sisi tulipo tulipoumbwa na Mungu, Mungu aliumba Adamu na Hawa. Na akawaumba kwa mfano wake. Na alipoumba kwa mfano wake, akawapatia kitu ambacho kinaitwa uhai na alipotupa uhai tukakuwa tuko na three different parts tukakuwa tuko na body soul na spirit lakini vile Adam na Eve walikosea their spirit died so at that time kutoka wakati huo hadi sasa mtu yeyote ambaye hajaokolewa bado ako lusu na ndiyo Yesu alikuja ulimwenguni ndio aweze kutusamehea dhambi zetu na aweze kutupatia tena a new spirit. Sisi hapa Mungu hakutulipisha chochote. Mungu alitupatia uhai wake bure, alituokoa bure, alijitolea kwenye msalaba bure. Na watu wengi wanasema nitafanya hivi, nifanye hivi ndio niweze kuokolewa. Hakuna kitu ambacho unahitajika kufanya ila ni kuamini kuwa Yesu alikufa msalabani kwa kwa sababu ya dhambi zako wewe ni uelewe umjue umuelewe na ujue kuwa alikufa kwa sababu ya dhambi zako Biblia inatuambia kwa kizungu for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes whosoever believes in him will not perish that will have everlasting life. Biblia ikusema whosoever gives to the poor, whosoever says a prayer, whosoever goes to church, whosoever does good things, ah ah, Biblia inasema whosoever believes will not perish. Ndugu zangu ni natabu kuambia watu wengi wamedanganywa sana na wataenda jehanamu wakiwa anaishi kwa kanisa kila siku. Wakiwa naamka wanaenda kanisani wanatoa wanatoa lakini hawajui kuamini ndio kunahitajika na nikuuliza jambo moja Utaweza kuamini vipi bila kujua bila kufahamu Yesu anatuambia ni jioni mimi ni jioni mimi nieleweni mimi na mchanielewa mjue tabia zangu mjue mimi niko vipi mjue kuwa mimi ni Mungu nyinyi mkielewa na mtambue na mjue si kuja hapa kwa sababu ya kitu kingine nilikuja hapa kuweza kuwakufia ukishaelewa na uweke makini kwa akili yako na ujue kweli huyu Yesu alikufa kwa dhambi zangu hakuuliwa hakuuliwa kwa sababu watu wanasema eti oh Yesu aliingilia mambo ya watu akauliwa hapana Yesu mwenye alisema I offered my life for you nilipeana mimi mwenyewe i laid my life for you yesu hakuna hakuna mtu angeoa yesu kama hataki na vile vile watu hawaelewi kuwa hakuna kitu ambacho unaweza fanya ndio uokolewe ni kuamini peke yake the book of uh, ephesians 2:89 inasema for by grace are you saved through faith it is not of yourselves it is the gift of god It is not of what less anyone should boast. Kuna watu wengi sana wanajigamba wanasema Yesu ni kama aliniokoa kwa sababu nilikuwa nafanya mazuri. Yesu ni kama aliniokoa kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa nikienda kanisani. Mwingine anasema Yesu ni kama aliniokoa kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa sidanganyi sana. Lakini Biblia inatuambia jambo moja. We are all sinners. No one is righteous. Kuna watu wengi wanasema mimi sijafanya chochote nitaenda vipi jehanamu siwezi enda jehanamu na mimi sijafanya kitu wacha nikuambie ndugu yangu uko pale ndugu yangu uko pale saa hizi whether unaamini ama hauamini siku ya kiama inakuja haiko mbali 
na ile siku itafika utapatana na mwenye aliyekuomba na atakuuliza jambo moja ulisikia maneno yangu yakisemwa ulisikia wewe ni mwenye dhambi ulisikia nilikupa kwa dhambi zako na wewe haukutaka kusikia uliona ni kama mambo tu ya kawaida mambo ya ya mzaha lakini wacha nikuambie ndugu yangu saa hizi Biblia inasema kama unasikia sauti yake usikaze roho yako usikaze moyo wako kwa sababu ukikaza moyo wako na useme sitaki kusikia Roho Mtakatifu anatuongelesha kila siku anatuambia tafadhali sikiza hiyo okoka angalia maisha yako angalia mwenendo wako kuna watu wengi sana ambao wamekuwa hii duniani ambao leo leo wamefariki wengi sana mtu tulikuwa naye jana tumekuwa naye hata hapa baadaye utasikia ah huyu jamaa tulikuwa naye hapa nini imemfanyikia sasa jiulize umefika pale mbinguni ama pale mahali unaenda upatane na Yesu uso kwa uso akwambie unataka ui, unataka kuingia mbinguni au unataka kuingia pale ukisema nataka kuingia mbinguni akuulize unataka kuingia mbinguni nipe Nipe reason moja ya kuingia mbinguni. Oh nilikuwa mtu mzuri. Oh nilienda kanisani, akuulize je, na nilikufa kwa nini? Kama wewe hautaki kumuelewa, hautaki kukubali Yesu alikufa kwa dhambi zako, ushinde ukisema mimi na nitafanya hivi na hivi na hivi niweze kuokolewa. Hakuna kitu chochote ambacho unaweza ukafanya kuokolewa ni kumuelewa Yesu alikufa kwa dhambi zako kujua kwa nini alikuja hapa duniani kukubali kuwa Yesu ni Kristo na Yesu ni Mungu kuna watu wengi sana anasema wewe lakini Yesu si Mungu Yesu ni ni mtume fulani ni kweli ni sawa alikuwa mtume lakini sio mtume kama wale watume wengine kila mtu anajua kuwa Yesu alikuwa tofauti na Yesu alikuja hapa na yeye ni Mungu kitabu cha Kitabu cha John chapter 1 verses 1 inasema in the beginning was the word and the word was is God and the word was God Na John chapter 1 verse 14 inasema and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us Huyu word ni Yesu alikuwa from the beginning and it was made flesh akapatiwa mwili akakuja hapa akakufa kwa dhambi zetu na ndugu yangu dada yangu hivi leo Mungu anakuongelesha kwa roho yako anakuambia anakupenda sana usikaze moyo wako usikaze moyo wako fungua roho yako na mkubali leo kwa sababu yeye hakuna wakati wakati umeisha na kuambia dunia ukiangalia vile inakaa hatuna wakati hatuna wakati kabisa Mungu anakupenda sana ndio anatuma watu kona zote kwenda kuhubiri kuhubiri na saa zote unasikia watu wanaku wanakuencourage na kuambia tafadhali okoka tafadhali okoka watu wengi wanajiuliza hii kuokoka ni nini je kuokoka ni kwenda kanisani je kuokoka ni kutoa tabiu je kuokoka ni kufanya mazuri je kuokoka ni nini Biblia inatuambia kuokoka it is believing the gospel What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news. Good news about what? Good news about what Jesus did for us. What did Jesus do for us? Yesu alifanya a very simple thing. Wacha niniwaambie Yesu alifanya nini. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 1 to 4. Inasema, "Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which i preached unto you which you received and wherein you stand and by which also you are saved if you keep in memory what i preached unto you unless you believed in vain for i delivered unto you first that which i also received how that christ died for our sins and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures the gospel is about how jesus died for our sins Biblia inatuambia hiyo ndio the good news the gospel So tukuje tena kama the gospel is about how Jesus died for our sins let's ask ourselves how did Jesus die 
We know very well that Jesus died by shedding his blood. Alimwaga damu yake kwa msalaba. Na niulize, Yesu angenyongwa ama arusho kwa maji, a drone kwa maji, ama Yesu akue electrocuted, kungekua na salvation kweli? Watani kuambia kitu moja. Bibine na kuambia from the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. Without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Bila kumwaga kwa damu, hakuna kusamehewa dhambi. Ndivyo Yesu ilibidi amwage damu yake kwa msalaba, kwa sababu lazima damu yake ingemwagwa, ndiyo sisi tupate kusamehewa dhambi zetu. Then, tunajuliza swali lingine. Kama lazima damu ingemwagwa, Hii damu kwani iko na nini ndani? Ni nini hiyo kubwa sana inabidi Yesu amwage damu ndio sisi tusamehewe? Na jibu lake liko hivi. Biblia inatuambia kwenye kitabu cha Leviticus 17 verses 11. Biblia inatuambia the life of the flesh is in the blood. Yaani uh uhai Wanyama au wa mtu uko kwenye damu and I've given you the blood upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that atones for the souls yani uhai wa mtu uko kwenye damu na biblia ilishatuambia kuwa eh, the wages of sin is death sawa yani uh, itwa nini na Kiswahili mshahara wa dhambi mshahara wa dhambi ni mauti 